high EHP hero. The Elder Titan can definitely go blow for blow with him. Even so, this Elder Titan has been getting a lot of work done. He's already level 2. Night Stalker still only level 1. He's pretty low on HP. Spartan almost has some kill potential here. Gets slowed up. And as we're looking at this, we're going to miss the first blood down bottom on the darks here. But that's okay. Somebody's dying here. Looks like it's going to be Spartan. Sayoma does rotate in. Hits him with the shackles. That will secure a kill. Unfortunately for Vega, though, they don't get the first blood. It does go to the lion down bottom. Looks like uh, a similar combo here. Just lion hex into Madara's spin. Pretty easy setup there to get a kill on the Ishkafel. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, eventually kind of just going to happen that lane. I think uh, he was pushing his limits there from Meg. And uh, we, well, I guess we haven't really talked about that. Meg Dex here. This is a great start. He's got a solo kill. He's halfway through four. Even just getting experience is enough for him. The hook shot is where it's at to find kills and pressure around the map. We're moving into the first night cycle, though. Solo on the Night Stalker, level three. Rotating down bottom. Shock doing a lot of damage here. Crypt Swarm from the Hasted Up Death Prophet gets one kill. Maybe next time trying to run through the trees, but no one will bring him down with one stray auto attack. A double kill for the DP. And with the Haste Rune, it's a value rotation. He's going to scurry right back towards the mid lane and go straight to farming. Yep, the pressure from uh, FNM it is not in any sort of a counter play down bottom. It's just going to be up top on FN, but in the end, pretty difficult for these two to get a kill up on him. So, FN, he's zoned away from the creeps for sure, but certainly worth it in the end for Vega. Oh. Maybe he can get off a battery assault here. He does. Can he close the gap? Here we go. Rage forced out. Now, maybe the Echo Stomp. It will connect. They wake him up from the slumber, and there's too many creeps nearby to intercept the damage. Now Solo comes joining the party. Skylark taking a lot of damage. We'll get right click down, and they turn it back the other way. Now Spartan on the run. Just brown boots. Not going to be able to buy his Tranquils. Oh, yes, he does. He gets just enough money in time. And Elder Titan will fall. Minimal losses for him, though. That was such a low percentage play, though. I don't know why they dove that, honestly. You forced out the Mango. That was the win in itself. Yeah. So lay into the Tier 1 tower up top. And Venom, though, ready, it looks though. like they want to make a defense. There's a hook shot. I'm ready, baby. Except there's a Death Prophet here, so they're definitely not ready. And there's also not six on the line. That's like his only buddy to make this worth. And yeah, they lose their courier. Also a double damage rune on the Death Prophet. She's going to go mid. There is a fight set up here right into the Echo Stomp. Gets off the Spirit Siphon, healing up like mad. Going to go hard onto Spartan with the double damage. Actually has the damage to cut through it in time. And the Beefcake gets taken out. Well, this is pretty depressing for Madara. He's going for the Vanguard build, which I can't appreciate. I think that the, oh. the overall aggression and the lack of, like, a super propellant from Skylark... Like, he's not a crazy clockwork of snowballing right now, you know? He's, he's gonna try right now, though. This would be a huge kill for him. Yep, right in onto no one. The Exorcism comes out. This could be a big kill if they can bring him down, but the Spirit Siphon oh, no. just doing too much. Skylark now getting turned on the Crypt Swarm. The Ghost will chase him down. No one gets credit for the kill. Thug coming back with some return damage, but... It's just not enough. No one is too tanky right now. So unfortunate for the clockwork. Zones when they fight where Adfidim don't really have a choice but to disengage. Rost Awards plus Exorcism is not something you want to fight into, even if you're pretty far ahead. And here we go. Rost Awards come down. Echo Stomp to start things off. Maybe drops the finger onto Shadow Shaman, but it's not enough for a kill. He sidesteps the Chakram. Now the back wall. They do end up getting the kill on the Lion. Add Finnum on the back foot. Echo Stomp again helps break up the fight, but they're charging in deep. Omni Slash does minimal damage. Madara in a world of hurt. They'll bring down Thug first. It's a disastrous fight for Ad Finnum so far, and it's not done quite yet. Spartan off to the side gets caught by open wounds. He'll be brought down, and Madara killed by no one through the Exorcism Crypt Swarm combo. It's a one for four, and the Shadow Shaman got his wards down. So while they did that, the Tier 1 tower fell. It's another great fight for Vega. About a 2k net worth swing once more. Yeah, any fight that starts out, uh... What do you think about Vanguard Jug in general? I haven't really seen this as much. I feel like the Vanguard Anti-Mage is something I've seen a lot more commonly. Uh-oh, maybe hold that thought. No one up top. TP is right into it. Skylark was hiding in the trees. Gets up a hook shot, but now Earth Splitter flying in. No one getting low. Yule Scepter, not enough to save him. Mag does TP in, so does FN. They're looking for some counter kills. Might be able to bring down Spartan. Vacuum into wall. Sets up an easy double kill. Vega turn it one for two. Still not ideal to lose their Death Prophet, but at least they get something here. Thug's still going to be able to make it out. So yeah, Vanguard Jug, what are you thinking? Oh, see, I'm going to get a Force Staff. There we go. Okay, life's good. Yep. So, a tool to deal with the Clockwork. Thug going in here onto no one. Earth Splitter to follow up the Echo Stomp. He actually uses the BKB, ready to turn and fight. Mag with the back wall on two. Follow up, Shackles on Thug. He's silenced, locked down, and brought down. It's a quick two for nil. 
going the way of Vega. DPS to use her BKB for it, but it proves worth it. Now they rotate up top. Madara gets pushed back. Not going to be able to siege this tower for free. Good if he can get it up next. Get him a little extra armor. Survivability and also just that utility Ooh, slow is so good. Yeah, no one initiated on. Oh my god, Finger into Earth Splitter. He dodges oh, it with the Yules. BKB, if he lives here, oh my good I'm gracious, he out. will. Spirit Siphon comes out. It's a turn for the ages. Two for nil the other way. Vega, not a game winning fight, but certainly a demoralizing one as Ed Finnum get completely turned around upon. That's unreal. Just that Yule's coming out. Bottom lane, TP out, just barely makes it. The Desolator has come for the Life Stealer. And he actually clicks really hard now, even through Magic Immunity. Uh oh, there's a trap brewing here. Mag comes in, back wall on two again, follow up. That'll be the end of the lion right away. Spartan, he will be able to make it back to the base, but very cheeky play there from Vega. They leave the wards, they think it's free farm. And they just jump in and take a fight. Now no one in pretty deep. He does have an exorcism. Sayoma nearby, but this time I think he might just let it go. Spirit Siphon trying to keep himself alive. Pops the BKB. Actually healing up quite a bit. Is this going to be the same story, different chapter? Now Thug coming in. Can't quite slow him down. The pipe will stop any damage that she's got. And down she goes. They get the high prize kill on the Death Prophet. She makes him work for it, though. That's for sure. Oh, jeez. That would have been so depressing. Necessitates that. Like, just leave the AC for FN. He can grab it in a little while and get more oh, standard. No one about to break the smoke, but Skylark actually hooks shots in. Earth Splitter will connect on no one. Pops the BKB, will live on the back line. Skylark just gets destroyed as he goes in a bit too deep. Yule Scepter on to maybe next time. Hex, probably not going to be enough to save him. DP just going to get a solo kill up here as they bring down the Elder Titan in the middle of the fray. Lion does not have a Blink Dagger. Will survive longer than he should. No TP either. Clockwork as well as the Elder Titan respawning soon, but they're going to lose at least one lane here. No Tier 2 towers remaining, so they can just shift to the other lanes and continue the siege. Tier 3 up in the bottom lane. Getting low, but Sayoma will TP back to deal with it. Meanwhile, Lion caught, drops the finger. Solo might actually be the one that goes down. Gemitrucite hits the deck, hook shot in onto Mag. Might not be too bad for Ad Finum after all. The Death Prophet still alive, ultimate. With a little bit of duration left, she wants to just get out of there. And the gem will be handed over at Finnum. They bring down the Night Stalker. So they do get a pretty high value kill there. However, they don't quite defend the middle. Radiant have a good idea of what's going on here. Dire lacking vision. They do have wards over on the high ground. And they get a little bit of intel as to the movements of this Radiant team. They want to go straight for blood, though. They want to pick off before they go into the Roche pit. Clockwork gets silenced. Force Staff buys them some time. But they've got a counter Force Staff for FN. Clock will be the first kill, and now they're going to focus elsewhere. Omni Slash bringing the Shadow Shaman low. He will actually die. Earth Splitter not going to do a hell of a lot. Solo caught by the finger, but it's still looking like an okay fight for Vega. There's the back wall. Thug, Silence, taking a lot of damage. Will commit suicide with the Bloodstone. They interrupt the TP out. Lion dies. It's a one for three. Good use of the Exorcism, and they'll still have about half duration left as they move into the Roche Pit. Looks like it'll be another good fight for Vega, and they'll be rewarded. Completely repelled. They can't take the fight. There's just this wall of do not pass. They'll get the melee barracks. They'll get the ranged hook shot in. Skylark breaking up the fight. Is it actually going to be enough, though? He just gets hexed. Now the vac wall back in. They bring down two. Beautiful stun on four, but it just slows down the inevitable. Now a buyback used by Elder Titan. Honestly, it doesn't matter, though. Vega got what they came for. At this point, he can kind of just rage focus on the tower, and they can do some pretty gross damage. But here we go. Wrap around the backside. Madara, maybe up to something sneaky, but oh no. Skylark, he gets initiated on by Solo. Even if he doesn't kill him, the clockwork's completely zoned out. They do bring down the Shadow Shaman before he uses his wards. A pretty good start for Ad Finum, but now Thug caught outside of the base gets destroyed. Will have a buyback available, uses it right away, but now they lose the Lion. No one just doing too much damage. Skylark completely useless in this fight. Honestly, was zoned out, joins the party, and just gets dropped by the DP without doing a lick of damage. Buybacks coming to plenty here. Clockwork does have one available. He's going to hang on to it for now. Lifestealer almost forcing a dieback onto the Lion. Force Staff with the Ion Shell Rage is pretty scary. No Glyph available for Ad Finum. They'll do what damage they can to the Tier 3, and now the Clockwork buys back. Abyssal Blade onto no one. Ad Finum want to get something from all of these buybacks used. Three of them deployed. Can they actually get it, though? Madara chopping away. No one with a BKB. Spirit Siphon actually healing him through it. 
Echo Stomp does break up the fight. Solo comes back into the party. Now Thug doing what damage he can, but everybody is silenced. It feels like Madara going blow for blow with Solo. This is not going to be a fight that Adfinum can win. They just don't have the resources. Dyer getting low. They're going to lose two, but FN still alive, as is no one. The Spirit Siphon still Come keeping on. him up. The Cogs slowing down FN, but now Skylark on the run. It's a crazy ring around the Rosie. They do manage to bring down the Death Prophet. It's a defensive hook shot away. These Cogs actually, in com uh, the Cogs combined with the Elder Titan Echo Stomp. It broke up that fight so much they were able to do it, kind of. Remember, they used three buybacks to clean up those kills. No one on the low ground just uses the Exorcism nice and early. He's got the Octarine Core now, so doesn't have to worry about that cooldown nearly as much. Madara goes in, Abyssal Blade, Omni Slash, takes no one to about half health. The Earth Splitter not doing much, but now the back wall on three. Add Finnum in a lot of trouble. Sioma the Slayer still hanging on to the Rasta Wards. They will take out the Tier 3 Towers, kind of peripheral damage from the Death Prophet Ghost. Now the Wards come down, Spartan Give gets destroyed in a couple one. of right clicks. And this should be the end of it. Add Finn, I'm going to hang on just a little bit longer, but there it is. GG's called. 38-16. to 16. Vega with very methodical, processed play. Take out Add Finn, in game one of this best of three. FN Dota. That's a hands of 18. 18, 0, and 7. Damn. That is a hell of a game coming up from him. Just very difficult for him to actually try and lock him down. I mean, we talked about the BKB piercing for...